A group of Qing dynasty cannons has been restored by experts in the process revealing a dangerous discovery. A Japanese artillery shell was found inside one of the cannons. Despite the alarm, the shell was not active. After restoration at Tainan National University of the Arts, the artifacts are now ready to go on display. This ancient cannon weighs hundreds of kilograms. It's lifted cautiously into the air to be transported to a restoration team. But inside one of these cannon's barrels, researchers uncovered an extremely rusted shell. We were removing the dust and then using refining tools, and then we realized in shock that it was actually an artillery shell. The police were immediately alerted, as well as the Army's bomb unit, who arrived on the scene to help. They determined the shell was a Japanese-era 75-centimeter warhead. Qing Dynasty cannons were breech loaders with shells loaded at the back to fire. So that's very different from what we found this time, finding a modern ammunition shell in the cannon's barrel. It's still a mystery why a Japanese shell was sitting in a Qing Dynasty cannon. But these 13 cannons have a lot to tell historians of Taiwan's early modern era, especially about the Qing Dynasty's military presence in the Penghu Islands. After undergoing rust removal and preservation measures, they're already back home in Penghu with plans in place for an exhibition. I hope we can preserve them in temperature and climate-controlled cases to protect the restored cannons, but also to be able to exhibit them. After all the excitement of the shell's discovery and Restore's hard work, it's time for these artifacts to get the attention they deserve.